On May 13th, 2019, about 1221 Alaska Daylight Time, a float equipped de Havilland DHC-2 Beaver and a float equipped de Havilland DHC-3 Otter collided in midair about 8 miles northeast of Ketchikan, Alaska. The Beaver and the Otter were conducting VFR Part 135 on-demand sightseeing flights. Both airplanes took off from the Misty Fjords National Monument about 30 miles northeast of Ketchikan and were headed to the Mahoney Lake area near Ketchikan. The Beaver airplane, with a pilot and four passengers, departed about 12.02. The Otter airplane, with a pilot and 10 passengers, departed about a minute later. Calculated ground speeds and altitudes for both airplanes are displayed at the lower right along with a clock that is displayed at the upper right of the animation. The airplanes collided at an altitude of about 3,350 feet near the west side of the George Inlet. Following the collision, the Otter turned about 180 degrees and descended into the waters of George Inlet. One passenger on the Otter sustained fatal injuries. Nine passengers sustained serious injuries, and the pilot sustained minor injuries. The Beaver broke up in flight after the collision, and the debris was scattered over the terrain northeast of Mahoney Lake and on the west shore of George Inlet. The pilot and all four passengers on board the Beaver sustained fatal injuries. The next series of animations depict the collision from both outside and inside the airplanes. This animation depicts an exterior view of the otter looking towards the beaver. The beaver, in the white circle, becomes visible in the animation about 24 seconds before the collision. This animation depicts the view from the otter pilot's seat, with cockpit structure obscuring portions of his field of view. About 11 seconds before the collision, our analysis concluded the beaver would have been obscured behind the otter's window post. The otter pilot recalled seeing a flash, seeing white and red, and then a tremendous collision. This animation depicts an exterior view of the beaver looking towards the otter. The otter, in the white circle, becomes visible in the animation about 30 seconds before the collision. Due to the airplane structure and the passenger seated to his right, it is unlikely the beaver pilot could have seen the otter prior to the collision. This animation depicts the view from the third row passenger seat on the right side of the beaver. As the animation ends, the scene transitions to a photograph captured by a passenger's camera as the airplanes converged. The circle indicates the position of the otter pilot, showing his view was obscured by the window post. The prevention of mid-air collisions has traditionally relied on pilots being able to see and avoid other aircraft. In this accident, the otter pilot's view was obscured by the window post, and the beaver pilot's view would have been blocked by airplane structure and his right seat passenger. This graphic shows how the Automatic Dependent Surveillance Broadcast, or ADSB technology, works. ADSB uses Global Navigation Satellite System position reports to track aircraft movements. Aircraft determine their own position and altitude from satellite signals. ADSB out equipment then broadcasts the aircraft's position, altitude, and velocity to other aircraft and to ground stations at a rate of once per second. Aircraft equipped with ADSB in can receive this information from other aircraft and from ground stations and display traffic in the vicinity to the pilot, including visual and oral alerts of predicted collision threats. In this accident, both airplanes were equipped with ADSB out and in, and could receive and display traffic information. But as will be shown, neither pilot received an alert before the collision. The following animations 
depicts simulated cockpit displays of traffic information for both airplanes starting about four minutes before the collision. Note that the actual range settings used on the displays during the accident flights are unknown. The displays of both airplanes are driven by ADS-B data. The Beaver pilot had a four-flight application on an Apple iPad display, and the Otter was equipped with a Chelton FlightLogic display. The four-flight application on the Beaver pilot's iPad can provide oral and visual alerts of nearby traffic. However, it requires pressure altitude data from a target aircraft to generate an alert concerning that aircraft. The Otter was not broadcasting pressure altitude because a required piece of equipment was turned off. Consequently, the four-flight application on the Beaver pilot's iPad could not produce an alert concerning the Otter. Additionally, due to the lack of an alerting function contained within the ADS-B in avionics that process traffic information, the Chelton display was not able to provide oral or visual alerts to draw the pilot's attention to traffic threats. The Otter's Chelton display presents a top-down view of the Otter, depicted as an airplane outline in the lower center of the display, and the surrounding terrain and air traffic. Other aircraft are depicted as Scion arrowheads, pointed in the direction they are flying. The arrowhead representing the Beaver appears at the Otter's 10 o'clock position and is filled with color because the Beaver is within a 6 nautical mile horizontal and a 1,200 foot vertical distance from the Otter. More distant aircraft are depicted as outline, non-filled arrowheads. The numbers next to each arrowhead indicate each aircraft's altitude relative to the Otter in hundreds of feet. The iPad display on the Beaver, running the four-flight application, depicted the Beaver in the center as a blue aircraft symbol. Other aircraft appear as filled Scion arrowheads, regardless of distance from the Beaver. The arrowhead representing the Otter appears at the Beaver's 3 to 4 o'clock position, with no relative altitude displayed because the Otter was not broadcasting pressure altitude. This simulation presents the oral and visual alerts that could have been generated by the four-flight application if the Otter had been broadcasting pressure altitude. Traffic, 3 o'clock, 2 miles, 400 feet above. Although both aircraft were equipped with traffic displays, limitations in the alerting capabilities resulted in neither pilot being alerted to the impending collision. Had these limitations not existed, oral and visual traffic alerts in each airplane would have occurred early enough for the pilots to have taken action to prevent the collision. As shown here, the four-flight application would have generated an alert one minute and 44 seconds before the collision. The actual time of an alert on the Chelton display is unknown, but based on similar systems, it is estimated the Chelton would have generated an alert 37.4 seconds before the collision. On April 20th, 2021, the National Transportation Safety Board determined the probable cause of this mid-air collision. The probable cause cited the inherent limitations of the see and avoid concept in the absence of visual and oral alerts from both airplanes' traffic display systems. A key takeaway from this investigation is that ADS-B out and ADS-B in support traffic advisory systems with visual and oral alerts that can mitigate the risk of mid-air collisions by alerting pilots to other nearby aircraft. The NTSB issued safety recommendations to industry partners, encouraging them to educate their members about this accident and about the benefits of flying an aircraft with cockpit displays that aid in collision avoidance. The NTSB urges pilots, owners, and operators to understand the capabilities and limitations of their equipment and to upgrade avionics to include ADS-B out and ADS-B in with traffic display systems that provide visual and oral alerts. Pilots should always include these traffic displays when scanning for traffic.